Good afternoon, everyone. I gave you a little extra time to enjoy your table, but I'd like to go ahead and begin our program. So back in 1901, a 19-year-old debutante with a social conscience raised 80, rallied 80 of her peers to improve the squalid living conditions of immigrants on New York's Lower East Side, forming the very first Junior League. Now, 89 years later, in 1990, the AGLI Board of Directors created the Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award as a way of recognizing an individual Junior League member whose volunteer efforts embodied Mary Harriman's pioneering spirit, her sense of social responsibility, and her ability to motivate others to share their talents through effective volunteer action. It serves as a modern day link to our rich heritage and the tradition Mary began. Since 1990, this award has been given to Junior League members whose leadership exemplifies our mission, our vision, and our values. Past winners include former Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, Chairman of the Vanderbilt University Board of Trustees and noted philanthropist and patron of the arts, Martha Rivers Ingram, Karen Cullen Luke, lifelong civic leader in Oklahoma City, and vice chair of the committee that built the Oklahoma National, Mu um, the Oklahoma National Memorial and Museum. And last year's winner and founder of the Junior League of Collin County and former mayor of Plano, state senator, among others no notable accomplishments, Florence Shapiro, as well as all the women depicted on your table centerpieces. Today, another remarkable woman joins their ranks. It is my extraordinary pleasure this afternoon to tell you about a woman with an inexhaustible spirit, an unrelenting drive to help those around her through her direct service and advocacy. For more than 30 years, the Junior League of Mexico City's Samara Modad, the winner of the 2014 Mary Harriman Award for Community Leadership, has embodied our founder's vision in all aspects of her life her personal life, her professional life, and her civic commitment. Upon graduating from the National, oh yes. yes. Your hands are gonna get tired. Upon graduating from the National Autonomous University of Mexico City from the Faculty of Medicine, with the highest honor in her class, Sammy, as she's known, focused on public education and completed a 10th month assignment to a poor rural community in the state of Talasca. While on that assignment, not only did she tend to the needs of population that lacked medical services, she also contributed to her own, she also contributed her own resources to the purchases of medicines and her patients that her patients could not afford. She has found her passion and she did not stray from it. As an advocate for health as well as for education, which she believes leads to freedom and personal growth, she is generous with her knowledge and selfless with her leadership talents. She empowers her collaborators by organizing, delegating, and mentoring. Over the years, she has tended to the health of low wealth families in extreme poverty, undernourished children, and adolescents, and served as a re representative before the local government where she argued for an improved quality of life of those around her. One story really stands out. As a resident of a community, she was aware that outside of her section, outside of her community she lived, where there are a group of families that made bricks and used mud and also manure in order to build their buildings. Now, you have to keep in mind that people were using the resources that were at hand for them. But because of the foul odor, these families were ostracized, their children could not go to school, and they were very hungry and lacking sanitary conditions and services. So with official authorization, she delivered daily rations for 200 individuals pulled together from contributions from 
500 children. Later to combat the dusty conditions and resulting health problems caused by a deforest, a deforest at school campus, she led a student-run effort to plant trees and hire water trucks. She does it all. Among her other achievements, which are too numerous to mention today, she spearheaded a winter shelter for homeless, participated in drives for eyeglasses, participated in vaccination programs and family planning initiatives, and adapted the Kids for, Kids, Kids for Kitchen program to fit her community. She took on child nutrition, malnutrition for infants, volunteered at hospitals, she collected wigs for chemotherapy patients, and shepherded Mexico City's famous recycling program through the case studies and processes that she learned about through Harvard, Harvard Business School. Today, uh, one of our past award winners reminded her about an award uh, that Mexico City be, uh, received because of that program. Along the way, believe it or not, she has found time to serve on several boards and to obtain significant grants from corporations like Coca-Cola. I know that you'll join me in congratulating this year's Mary Harriman winner, Samara Modad, Sammy as we like to call her, from the Junior League of Mexico City. Sammy, this is for you. Harriman es una figura extraordinaria que a la vuelta del siglo se interesó en ayudar a todos estos emigrantes tan necesitados. ¿no? Ese espíritu de ayudar al que lo necesita sin que te lo pida es lo más maravilloso que pude ver de las actividades de la Junior League eh, iniciadas por Mary Harriman. Samira Modad has embodied Mary Harriman's vision through her wide-ranging career as a volunteer, spanning over 30 years. This is her story. Sami, as everyone knows her, has lived in Mexico City since she was a child. This is one of the largest human settlements in the world, faced with the daunting social and political challenges. Having finished high school at the Oxford School and driven by her calling to serve others, she decided to enroll in the Faculty of Medicine at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, where she earned the top grades and graduated with honors. She requested to do her social service in a poor rural community where no medical service was available. In Mexico City, she married Antonio Naranjo and went on to raise four children. Yo de mi mamá aprendí que es más padre dar que recibir. Es más de satisfacción cuando das que cuando recibes. Y eso me enseñó mi mamá. Always attentive, Sami is the kind of person who does not simply walk on by when she notices there is a need around her she can contribute to ease. Always willing and enthusiastic, undaunted by the challenges, she knocks on any door necessary to organize effective help. Muy trabajadora, siempre está trabajando. No, es una cosa que no le para, ni ahorita ni nunca, yo creo. Education has been another one of her passions. Mi mamá siempre ha estado convencida que, que la educación es un pilar para el desarrollo de, del ser humano. Working with Samira, you realize that she is extremely well read, well prepared in medical issues, well prepared in political issues, but she knows how to take that knowledge and teach other people. She loves learning and teaching. Sami is generous with her knowledge, sharing it without holding back. Mi madre siempre ha sido una persona que enseña, eh, que transmite, eh, que educa, algo así como train the trainers, enseñarte a pescar y no darte el pescado. She has taught useful knowledge for living and growing to diverse age groups, ranging from school children to adults. As a responsible citizen, she is a member of the Neighborhood Association. She has taken an active role in improving the quality of life of her neighbors. 
Samira was and is actively involved in her community. She works to protect the parks. She organizes her neighborhood and uncontrolled overdevelopment of the area. Bueno, la doctora Murat, sin duda, primero es una activista eh, llena de mucha fuerza que quiere que su colonia, que la delegación, siempre esté en buen estado. Sin recibir nada a cambio, lo hace. Y a nosotros como gobernantes eso nos ayuda mucho. Pues puedo platicar que tengo el gusto de conocer a Sami desde hace unos 15 años. La admiro por su trabajo comprometido, decidido a favor de las causas de, pues de las gentes desprotegidas. Embracing volunteer work with a deeply held conviction, as a volunteer for the Mexican Philanthropy Center, she took part in the promotion and diffusion of the website Haces Falta. Que lo que pretende justo es ofrecer la eh, oferta del trabajo voluntario para demanda de las instituciones que lo requieran. No conozco en mi historia de voluntaria a nadie que haya trabajado en tantos ámbitos y que cumpla tantas horas de voluntaria. Yo defino a Samina Mat como una, una mujer entusiasta, muy alegre, este, visionaria, que la realmente tiene mucha entrega por, por lo que le gusta hacer, que es el voluntariado y el servicio. Es voluntaria en Cruz Roja, es voluntaria en Hospital General y aplicándolo concretamente a Junior League, ella supo adoptar un programa de niños cocinando en Estados Unidos, se llama Kids in the Kitchen. México es número uno en obesidad infantil y era muy oportuno que Junior League tomara esa causa. She contributed to the inclusion of the Recyclable by Nature program as a case study at Harvard University Business School. She shared this experience in Boston, Massachusetts to spread the vision, the sustainability and the success of this multi-sector partnership with the participation of the private sector, the government and the non-profit organization, all with a common goal. No event was ignored. After a disastrous flood collapsed the state of Tabasco, Sami quickly organized the Child by Child of Tabasco program, where 1,000 backpacks were put together with new school gear. Lo importante era regresarlos a las escuelas. Sami captó esa necesidad y me pidió que encabezara el grupo para organizar todo este tema de las mochilas, llevarlos directamente a las comunidades de allá. She commissioned two members to deliver them personally as donations in the state of Tabasco, in the presence of the Social Development Minister. Sami has made a difference everywhere she has reached out to, doing work that goes beyond expectations, often by her own initiatives, without being asked by anyone. Samira's presence as president was always felt. She was at the thrift shop, she was at meetings, she was at the projects. You knew she was there. She was behind you. Her support was evident at all times. Sami has also been a volunteer for Mexico's General Hospital, a public hospital with one of the highest demands for services from people who have no medical insurance of any kind. Y tenemos muchas mujeres que han perdido el pelo por su quimioterapia. Y bueno, se me ocurrió conseguir pelucas y donarlas, ¿no? Una iniciativa nueva, el ver que se pudieran integrar estas, estas pelucas, ¿no? Iniciamos el proyecto con su amiga por su iniciativa de las pelucas para poderlas donar a la gente que, que pierde su cabello. Y esto no ha, parado, no ha parado, porque ya la gente sabe que lo recibimos. Ahora tenemos un gran compromiso con la gente que nos ha donado ese cabello. Mira, señora, wow, esto mide 45, casi 50 centímetros. She asked for used wigs from family members, friends and neighbors. All these wigs, used or new, were donated to those patients in greatest need. The ladies who received them were very happy. Nothing has been easy for her. All the work she has done has been strewn with obstacles. But her conviction of the goodness of the actions to be carried out and of the benefits that many people will draw from them has encouraged her to obtain authorizations from the government and private person to get the job done. Overcoming the embarrassment of asking to realize intersector partnerships, which are so important for the development of volunteer work. O sea, no importa en qué 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 se ponga uno a hacer, si es recoger agua, si es entregar revistas, si es juntar ropa usada, si si es este lo que sea, si es en servicio de alguien más, vale la pena.
no hay cosa pequeña. Realmente el entusiasmo de Sami es contagioso, esa risa, esas ganas de trabajar, esa organización, ese conocimiento que ella tiene. Sami es una persona de un ejemplo a seguir. Es una persona líder, trabajadora, entregada a todo lo que es el proyecto social. Bueno, pues me enorgullezco de conocer a Sami, una mujer ejemplar que vive los valores del voluntariado en el día a día y los vive con pasión, con entrega, con profesionalismo, con gran dedicación. The Junior League of Mexico has benefited from the hard work and know-how of this exceptional woman. But Mexico as a country is fortunate to have a woman like her who has been so dedicated to her country, to the problems, and she has always done all of this with a smile. It is now my honor to welcome this year's Mary Harriman Community Leadership Award winner, Samira Modad, to the stage. Sammy. in motion. It's very exciting to be here. Good afternoon. I must tell you that I'm very happy and deeply honored to receive today the Mary Harriman's Community Leadership Award 2014. This is the first time since AJLI established this award that it comes to a league outside of the United States. The Junior League of Mexico City. <laughs> And to a native Spanish-speaking volunteer, that's me. Well, <laughs> I'm not to exaggerate my accomplishments, but in this case, you've done it for me. <laughs> I thank the classifying jury of AJLI, my manager, Jackie Rivas, my family, and the Junior League of Mexico City that so gladly welcomed me as a member. No doubt, the junior leagues in our four countries have been one of the most recognized volunteer organizations of women working for their communities for more than 100 years, 81 in Mexico City. Moved by the great spirit of a young woman who engaged many other debutants to give time, money, and care to the many needy, poor, and hungry immigrants arriving to the New York decks back in 1901. <clears throat> Mary Harriman has been an inspiration for many generations of women who had made a difference in their community. So please, agree with me the certainty of the high honor this award means for Junior League of Mexico City and myself. Thank you. <laughs> I became acquainted with the Junior League of Mexico City in 1997, and I was impressed the way this group was engaging women to do volunteer work and giving them the chance to learn how to be a professional volunteer. Where the goodwill was not the only thing needed, but a wide knowledge that, was, that has to do with a volunteer organization to make a truly and lasting impact in the communities. I had been volunteers for many years, in fact, since I was a child, willing to help everyone I could. 
Later on, I was involved in a lot of school and community projects, inviting people to help me get what was needed to solve health problems, urgent needs of people around our neighborhoods, or improving education for teenagers and adults. These actions, although valuable, I could say, were planned and made in a very simple way, without all the structure and methodic order that I found in Junior League of Mexico City in the written bylaws and politics. Knowing Junior League allowed me to become aware that I was not the only half-nuts that was trying to relieve needs that came into sight without anybody asking. I came to know that there were many other hundreds of thousand women doing the same. And I felt fully identified with the mission, vision, and their orderly way of working. This identification and sense of belonging, belonging grew year by year as I attended several annual meetings just to enjoy the conference and to learn more. Upon the 100th celebration of Junior League held at New York City, I was fortunate enough to listen to Maya Angelou, who, by the way, is a native of this beautiful city of St. Louis, Missouri. I could at least but agree with her poem, Phenomenal Woman, really an oath to women, which can be applied to junior leaguers in all our four countries, starting with Mary Harriman. Finally, the challenge facing us is enormous. Let's that not discourage us. The opportunities facing us are considerable. Let's grasp them. Mine is a vision, particularly for my country, of a society where rights and responsibilities are balanced, where social responsibility and economical opportunities are the norm, not the exception, where neighbor helps neighbor because it's the right thing to do. I'm proud in achieving our mission, collaborative in working with each other to tackle needs, able to demonstrate the impact of our work to communities of which we are part, and trusted and deliberate in working with others for the public good. We've done very well, and I'm very proud of all of us. But how do we push new ideas? How do we surplus ourselves? Well, Nolan Bott said, everyone who's ever taken a shower has a brilliant idea. <laughs> See? It's the person who gets out of the shower, dries off, and does something about it who makes the difference. So, I say, shower often and dry off here, please. <laughs> Let's remember, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Phenomenal woman, that's us. Thank you. Sammy, you can't leave. This is, this is my open moment. Um, you can't leave. But first of all, um, I want you to know how much of an inspiration you've been to us. And I want you to thank, uh, thank you as a role model to the Junior League's members everywhere. Uh, like Mary Harriman, you've been a guided uh, throughout your life as an extraordinary sense of social responsibility and have leveraged your abundant abilities to be a catalyst for the improvement of Mexico City, changing the landscape of its people forever. We are privileged to have you as a member of our organization and congratulate the delegates from the Junior League of Mexico City who join us in this celebration. Congratulations to you as well. Thank you. 
I would also like to warmly welcome and introduce Sammy's three daughters who are here. I met her earlier at lunch. Um, Samira Naraho, I know I said that Naranjo, wrong. Yes. Naraho. Naranjo. Okay, I'm going to learn to roll my R, my dad. <laughs> Sandra Naraho, my dad. And Alexandra. So we have one more thing, and again, this is my Oprah moment. We have some gifts for you. <laughs> the first is a Laura Lively, a favorite conference vendor of ours. Laura from Laura Lively has selected something very special for you, and we thank her and her team for the gift and ongoing support. Do I have it? Oh, I have it. See? <laughs> oh, but there's more. Oh, there's more. Yes. That gift's for you. Okay. And a second is from K Hall Studios, makers of handcrafted goods and fragrances based right here in St. Louis and sold in Anthropology and Pyrus. Our friends at K Hall have selected something special for you, too, and we thank K Hall for their gift as well. And there's more. <laughs> we all at AJLI join in congratulating you, Sammy. Thank you. We're so proud to have you, thank and you, thank Tony. you so much. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. And if one of her daughters will come help her. <laughs> both, both, both. Both, both. Oh, oh, the whole family. Come on three up. Of, the three of you. The three There's of one you. for each of you. Isn't this a lovely family? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're very You're happy. happy. You're very happy for you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can go to Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thanks.